Hi, welcome to Homeschool for Real Life. This is the first of our enhanced read-alouds. This is something that we are hoping to bring to you weekly. So I'll be sharing this book live tomorrow. I'll be reading it live here on our Facebook page. This is Herman's Vacation by Tom Percival. So I'll be reading it live, but that video will not stay because due to publishers' permissions, they don't like when you leave it out there so everyone can just hear you read it instead of buy the book. But I will read it aloud for you if you want to join me at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. That will be Thursday morning. But right now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to enhance your read aloud of this book. So if you were going to read it aloud to your kids, or if you're going to join me for the read aloud tomorrow, what else you can do with it. This enhanced read aloud series is going to give you ideas of what you can do when you read books to make it a more educational and engaging experience for your kids. So with Herman's Vacation, something we might want to do before we read is talk to our kids about vacations they've been on. Did you enjoy your vacation? Has there ever been a vacation or maybe something you did on vacation that you felt differently about than someone else? Maybe something you enjoyed that your parents didn't, or they liked and you found it a little boring? We don't all feel the same thing about our vacations and different things that we try. And that happens to Herman and Henry in this book. Another thing you might want to do before you read is to have your child think about if you were going camping, what would you pack? They could make a list of items they would bring, or they could draw what they would pack. And all of that will help them to connect with this book as we begin to read. I'll be posting along with this some recommendations of what to do before you read, during reading, and after reading. So if, if you join us tomorrow as I read the book, you'll see some of the things I do while I read. But those will also be written for you. That'll be in our recommended read-alouds or enhanced read-alouds photo album. So you'll be able to see all of those ideas shared there. You'll also be able to see some samples of what we've done to go along with the book. So a couple of the things you'll see as we're reading. On this page, it says, he was so excited. After all, everybody loves camping. And we can stop here and talk about why the author decided to put everybody in all capital letters. Does everybody love camping? Or maybe is that just what Herman thinks and we're going to see that that's not the case. You'll also see inside the book, there are a few lift the flaps. And on this page, we have some postcards, one sent by Herman and one sent by Henry. They share very different feelings about their vacation. So that's one of the activities we have suggested to do after you read the book, is to have your child write two postcards about a vacation they imagine. One where someone's not having a very good time and one where they are. So they can design the front of their postcard and then on the back, write about what's going on much like the characters in the story do. One, they can share how wonderful the vacation is, what a great time they're having. The other one, not so much, and those can get pretty funny. So those were mine. These are some that Lexi did, and there will be pictures of those for you so you can see those examples. So I hope you're able to join me tomorrow as we read the book and check out those resources that are posted for you.